Much better. I think I fixed the sound, which means that the poor people didn't get the first four examples. Sorry for them. I tried. Okay, you guys ready? All right, guys. Hey, y'all, focus up. Focus up. What do we know about this graph? Tell me anything you know about this equation. Does anybody know what the y-intercept is? Anybody know the y-intercept? I heard it. What kind of three? Put you a dot on negative three. Is this a solid or a dashed line? How do you know? Because it's got the equal to. Perfect. So let's go ahead. I'm going to just pull out my ID. They did me dirty, so. Isn't that a terrible picture? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You guys, what's my slope? Y'all, what's my slope? It's 4 over 5. So remember, that's up and to the right. So from this point, I'm going to go up how many? Four. One, two, three, four, and then right how many? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're doing a solid line, so I'm going to go ahead and do a solid line. Do you guys like that I printed out the notes for y'all today? Yeah. And that we're doing it together? Yeah. Okay, I talked to a couple of you and I got some feedback and I thought this would be the next the next step to make things better. Okay? Now, we're not done. We graphed the line, but we haven't graphed the inequality. So this is not an equal sign, right? It's greater than or equal to. So greater than, do you think we're going to shade above or below? Above. I'm going to pull out a highlighter for this. Okay? So every single point that's above that line and even on the line counts. So give me, give me a point that's on the line. Any point that's on the line. Uh, negative two. Negative two. Negative. And what's my y then? Negative eight. Negative five, right? Actually, that's not even perfectly on the line. Perfectly on the line would be over zero down three or over five up one and then there's no other perfect points on this particular graph that we can currently see so these would be yeses so it's okay to be on the line on the line is smiley face this is my smiley face okay and it can be in the shaded region too Give me something that's in the colored area. Any point you want that's in this colored area. Negative three. Negative three, and what, what, what y value do you want? Five. Five? Okay, that works. Give me one more. Give me something over here that's in the colored area. Uh, two and six. Two and six, perfect. Okay, so if they give you a graph and ask you if one of, and they give you points and you have to pick one that's a solution, do you want to pick one that's in the colored area or one that's in the blank area? In the colored area. Easy, right? When you're ready to go to the next thing, just open up the booklet, open up the notes. Who can tell me what the y-intercept is? Good. Who can tell me what the slope is? The slope is negative one, so I'm gonna make it a fraction so I can think of this as down and to the right. This one's down because it has the negative. So from this point, I go down one over one. Down one over one, down one over one. Is this a solid or a dashed line? Uh, this is a dashed line. So just kind of give a little dashy dash. You still want arrows because the line goes on forever. It never stops. 
And are we going to shade above or below? Above. We're shading above. Why are we shading above? Because we're bringing it Yep. Now, can we pick something that's on the line? Can I pick 0, 1? Can I use that? Who says yes and who says no? And who wants to explain? Let me ask you it a different way. If it's a dashed line, are we allowed to use it? No. no. So we cannot use this one. We can't use the line on this one when it's dashed. Can I pick a point over here? No. Okay, I'm just going to put a point over here. doesn't matter where. Can I use A? No. No. Can I use, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to label this as B. I can't use B, so this is B. And then I'm just going to put a dot over here. Can I use C? Mm -hmm. I can. And C for me is at 5, 2. You can put it wherever you want as long as it's in the colored area. Easy cheese, right? We ready to go to the next two? These two are the same thing. Uh, the reason I wanted to do number seven is because it has a different format than you guys have probably seen in a while. This is a throwback to algebra one, just a quick refresh. What's my y-intercept? What's my slope? Nope, are there any x's? So you can think of this as like zero x, which means it's perfectly flat. Uh, undefined is straight up and down. So this is going to be flat. Undefined is when you have x equals. Straight flat is when you have y equals. No, great question. Are we shading above or below? Is y bigger or smaller than 1? We're shading below. You ready for the next part? Just under here. Give me a point that, give me a smiley face point. Give me a frowny face point. And give me a, can I use the line or not? Okay. So anyone give me a smiley face point. Anyone at all? Negative two and three. Negative two and three. No. If it's negative two and negative three, I would agree. Okay, I'm with you. That would be right here. Okay. That gets a smiley face. Someone give me a frowny face point. Uh, one and zero. One and zero would work. We want something that's in the non-colored area. Over two, up one. Uh, that's on the line, so you're right. Oh, one and two? One and two? Okay, one and two. Yep, that's a frowny face point. And can we use the line, yes or no? No. We cannot. Okay, you ready for the next one? So far, this should all be review from Algebra 1. Well, we got you. We're going to get you straight now. What's my y-intercept? Negative 2. Negative 2. Put a dot. Now what? What's my slope? 2 over 3. 2 over 3. That's going to be up to right 3. So let's go. Up two, right three. Up two, right three. I could also flip it and go down to left three. 
Does it matter as long as I keep the same proportion? Solid or dashed? Solid. Solid, solid. Above or below? Okay, same thing. I want a smiley, a frowny, a no. Smiley, a frowny, and, a, and about the line, sorry. So I'm going to just throw a dot over here. I'm going to throw a dot over here. Is this dot a smiley or a frowny? That's a smiley. Okay, where is it at? Yeah, five. Negative four. Where's this guy at? I put it in the basically the same spot, sorry. Negative five comma four. Can we use a line on this one? Yes, we can, because it's a solid. Is that making sense? Okay. Can we flip to the next page? There's one. Well, you're right. It's like I, I folded it like a little book. So we're on the last page. Okay. So here's what you need to know. Here's the key thing. This is your key thing you got to know. To be a solution, it has to be in both shaded areas. It has to work for both equations. Okay? It has to work for both equations. I'm trying to write neat, but I'm not very good at it. has to work for both equations. You guys ready? All right. So I'm going to I'm just going to move so that this I'm going to come in even tighter so that you can see better. First equation, oh, let me make it It's not, it's not going to zoom. It won't let me focus. There we go. Okay, you guys, top equation. Just looking at just the top equation, what's my y-intercept? Negative 2. Put a dot. Whoever's phone it is, it's so popular. Tell them you're going to have to call them back later. You're busy learning knowledge. Knowledge. Knowledge, you can be a baller baller. Okay, what is my slope for the first equation? Up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. Pa is it a solid or a dashed? Solid, solid. Okay, now I'm going to use two different colors of highlighter to keep this easier to understand. Am I shading above or below? Above, above. So I'm not going to shade heavy. I'm shading really light because I'm going to have to put another one on here. And I want to find the place that they're both shaded. Cassandra, will you tap him for me? You okay, buddy? Mm -hmm. I need you to stay awake and get your work done with me. Okay. Second equation, y'all. What's my y-intercept? There we go. What's the slope? Up one over two. Hey, what's the same? Same slope, which means what kind of lines are these? Well, it is, it is solid, but I heard it starts with a P. Parallel lines. Now, am I shading above or below on this guy? I'm shading 
below on the second one, right? So I want to get this part that's in between because it has to be bigger than this guy and less than that guy. So this part is my solution. Put you a fat smiley face in here. Put you frowny faces everywhere else. Can we use these lines? Mm -hmm. So yes, we can use both lines. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Okay, let's roll. First equation, what's my y-intercept? Boom. What's my slope? Exactly, we don't have one, which means is it flat or is it vertical? It's flat. Solid or dashed? Solid. Am I shading above or below? Below. And I'm gonna do it lightly because I need to do two. So I just do like skinny lines. I'm not putting too much just so that I know where it's going. Second equation. What's my y-intercept? Booyah. What's the slope? Yeah, it's negative one over one. So down one over one, down one over one, down one over one. Solid or dashed? Dashed. Okay, am I shading above or below on this guy? I'm gonna shade below. And I want the part that's, that's works for both equations. So it's gonna be a funky shape. It's right in here. Okay, can you see how this part works for the yellow and this part works for the green. I'll make this guy yellow. I'll make this guy green. But we want the part that works for both of them. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do a quick label. Smiley or frowny? Smiley or frowny? Frown, because we only want the part that works for everything. Smile or frown? Smile. Smile. Smile or frown? Okay. Can I use this part of the line? Can I use this part of the line? So it's both, right? So you just, you have to know which part you can use. This part is no. This part is yes. You guys following? Is this making sense? We're almost done. Okay, let's knock out the last two. Then we'll take a break and get started on our work for today. This is just the notes, baby. What's the y-intercept, y'all? You have homework if you don't get it done in class. What's your y-intercept, y'all? Negative three. Negative three. What's my slope? Two over three. Is it? Negative two. Yeah, so I'm going to go down two, right three. Positive, I mean, sorry, dashed or solid? Solid. Solid. Shading above or below? Oh. What's my y-intercept for the second equation? What's my slope? Yeah, just up one over one. Solid or dashed? Trying to draw a good line. 
Am I shading above or below? Above. So which part? Okay, let's go. You tell me smiley or frowny and we'll fill it in. Smile. Smiley or frowny? frowny. Smile or frown? Frown. Smile or frown? Smile or frown? Smile. It's got to be colored in for both of them. So it's it's with it's with green but not with yellow, right? So you got to have both colors there. Can we use the lines? So yes to both lines. Last one. If you need to borrow my notes when we're done, that's no problem. I'm going to take some pictures and put it online for the at-home kids, the virtual students. All right, guys, what's my y-intercept? Good. What's my slope? One, one. Up one over one, up one over one, boom, 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 boom. Solid or dashed? Yeah, Not bad out. Okay, above or below? Below. It is below. Good thing you said that because I was thinking it was above in my head. I was ready to go completely wrong. All right. Next line, last line. What's my intercept? Mm -hmm. Boom, you guys are bosses at this. Slope. Negative. Negative. Ooh, good. So down to right three, or I can go up to left three. Doesn't matter. Solid or dashed? Dashed it is. I have good news for you. The assignment is multiple choice. So you don't actually have to graph it. You just have to be able to pick the right graph. Shade above or below? Above. So which part is my smiley face? One, two, three, or four? One, two, three, or four. Smiley face? Yep. Two. Two. This is the part we want. This is our solution set. Can I use the points? Can I, I mean, can I use the, the lines? No. Yes. Are those solid or dash lines? Yeah. No touchy. Can't use it. Oh, it's like the opposite of driving. It is like the opposite of driving. All right, guys. You, that's everything you need to know for, let me just show you real quick. Let me stop this recording.